Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to look at Pandas group by feature. I have this Excel sheet which contains uh, weather data of three different cities. So as you can see that I have these four rows containing New York City's weather, then I have Mumbai and Paris weather. And I want to get answers on some questions such as what was the maximum temperature in each of these cities? What was the average wind speed in every city? Okay, so here I'm trying to group the data per city and then I want to run analytics for each of these groups. For such a use case, it makes sense to use pandas group by feature. So as usual, I'm going to launch my Jupyter Notebook by running Jupyter space Notebook on my command prompt. If you don't know what is Jupyter Notebook, uh, you can go ahead and watch my Jupyter Notebook tutorial. I also have a tutorial on how to install Jupyter Notebook, okay? Uh, once it launches this notebook in my Google Chrome, I'm going to go into a specific directory and then click on new Python Conda root to launch a new Jupyter Notebook. Now, let me first import pandas as pd and I'm going to read the CSV file and name of my CSV file is weather data. And now this will give me my data frame, okay? Uh, star here means it's executing uh, the statement. Okay, it looks like it's, it's complaining that this file does not exist. Now, let me check. Okay, so the name of my CSV file is weather by cities. So weather by cities. And when I execute it, uh, you can see that I have now a data frame which contains uh, all the data that uh, we had in our CSV file. Now I'm going to uh, group by this data based on cities. Okay, so I will run df.groupby and here in the bracket you mention the column that you want to use for your grouping okay so my column name for cities is city so that's what i am passing as an argument in group by function okay now when i run this i will get a data frame group by object okay now let's see how this object looks so i have a pictorial representation of this object so when you say data frame group by city, it will create this kind of object where you have keys and values. So my key here is New York and my value is a data frame containing New York City's data. Same way uh, I have key and data frame for Mumbai and Paris also. So now you can see that I grouped my data based on cities. So I have now three different groups, each corresponding to these uh, different cities, okay? So this is how your data frame group by object looks internally. Now, in my Jupyter Notebook, when I want to access uh, each of these uh, groups, then the way to do that would be for city, and uh, city data frame in G. So there is an iterator that uh, data frame group by object provides, which you can use to iterate through each city and the corresponding data frame. So I'm going to print city and the corresponding data frame here. So when I run it, you can see that I have Mumbai uh, as a key and the data frame corresponding to Mumbai as a value, okay? So this is how you can uh, go through uh, each of the data frames. Also, if you want to access a specific uh, data frame, you can use g.getGroup for let's say Mumbai, okay? And when you run that, you get a data frame 
for only Mumbai. So this object that you get in return is a data frame. Okay. Now, if you think about uh, this particular statement here, it is similar to SQL group by. Now, if you are familiar with SQL, then this thing is similar to saying select star from your uh, table. So your let's say CT data is the name of your table. And you can say group by city. Okay, so if you write a statement like this in SQL, then that's gonna give you a similar result. It's gonna group your uh, table records by city. So this is pretty similar to that SQL statement. Okay, now back to our original question. We wanted to know what is the maximum temperature in each of these cities in order to know that answer you can simply run g which is your data frame group by object dot max okay so when you run that you get a maximum temperature each in each of these cities you can see mumbai it was 92 new york it was 36 paris it was 54 so you get max for pretty much all the columns uh so this is really interesting because now what you're doing is uh, you are first dividing your data set into different groups based on city and then you are running analytics on each of these groups and then you are combining the results into this single data frame. So this process of dividing your data into multiple groups and then applying some analytics to get aggregated result is called split apply combine. And I have a pictorial, pictorial representation for that process here. So as you can see here in the first phase, when we did group by, we split our data set into smaller groups. Then when we call any function we call max but you can also call median uh, or average etc so that process of applying some operation or a function on, on each of these groups is called apply and then as a next step you are combining those three results into a single data frame so that pro that step is our combined step so if you ever come across this terminology split apply combine then now you know what it means okay now we'll get answer on our second question which was what is the average speed wind speed in each of the cities so you can just run g dot mean it's gonna calculate mean or an average for each of our columns so now we know that in mumbai the average wind speed was 9.25 new york it was 8 paris 12 12.75 and so on if you want to get all the analytics in one shot then the easy function is g dot describe that's gonna give you all the various statistics so for my mumbai standard deviation mean 25 percentile count see it gives you all uh, those results okay uh, you can also do some plotting so let me just do percentage mat plot lib in line this is how you can print a mat plot lib chart in your jupyter net notebook and i'm going to just do g dot plot okay so g is my group by object and i'm just calling a plot function so when i plot it it is giving me three different plots okay and these plots corresponds to temperature and wind speed in each of these cities so the first plot is for mumbai second plot is for new york and the third one is for paris okay all right so that's all we have uh, for group by tutorial uh I have just covered some basic fundamentals, but there, there, there are, there's much more that you can do. So if you read through uh, Panda's documentation, uh, so here we have Panda's documentation. And if you go to this particular section, group by, then you will see a whole lot of new methods and new features that you can find uh, very useful. Okay, uh, 
I have this Jupyter notebook and the CSV file saved on my GitHub link, which you can find in the video description. So feel free to download the notebook and the CSV and then uh, play with it. Just, just try different things and you will realize how powerful uh, group by feature is. Okay, so that's all we have for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to look at merge, uh, combine and uh, aggregation functionalities in Pandas. All right, thank you for watching, bye.